a My Froggy Stuff mashup. This summer, we brought you Darby Show Drama. There was so much drama. And now you can watch all four parts in one video. In the Darby Show Drama Complete Series. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Previously on the Darby Show. Carmen, I am so glad you are here. Sophie, what is it? I'm missing my favorite show, Space Crafters. I need a big favor. I am trying to get my Instagram book published from QuickBook Publishing, and they said it has to be there by one o'clock today. But I have this family thing to do, so I need you to do it for me. Why don't you just call them and see if you can turn it in later? Carmen, I know if we don't turn this in now, then Anna is gonna have hers published before mine and we just can't let that happen. Please? I have to go. It's right over there on the bed. Fine. I guess these are what she was talking about. I can drop this off at QuickBook Publishing, then get back to my show. This is so exciting. I wonder if my book is on the shelves yet. Yay! Here it is! Congratulations, Sophie, your book is selling like crazy. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it is pretty fabulous! Yeah, <laughs> and you're a lot braver than I am. I could never publish my diary. Say what? <gasps> Carmen! <laughs> Chloe, are you reading my diary? Yeah, I bought it at the bookstore today. You know, if you're gonna write stories about people you actually know, you should probably change the names. I didn't plan on it getting published! Give me that! I can't believe this is happening. Sophie, that's my book! Well, do I at least get a refund? It's okay. So what if my diary was published and is now available in the bookstore? Oh no, now everyone will know what I think about Anna. And Anna will know what I think about Anna. Could this day get any worse? Uh-oh. Seriously? Giant bird poo? Sophie, there you are. I have been looking for you everywhere. I was just washing my hands. Since everyone is here, Let's go to the movies. We can see Shoppies, Intergalactic Shoppers. It's shopping and sci-fi, your favorite. Y'all are going to the movies? Yeah, you wanna come? Sure, let's go watch Zombie Pizza. Uh, no. We're watching a movie about shopping. <laughs> Zombie Pizza. Ugh, I need to get some guy friends. Let's hurry up and grab a seat. I'm pretty sure this mood's gonna be packed. Aw, man! Y'all took the best seats! I told you to hurry up and get in here. What took you so long? I needed to get popcorn. Well, where is the popcorn? Hey, it was a long line to the theater from the concession stand. Did they expect me to starve? Wow! I wasn't expecting to see you all here. Yeah, I know what you mean. Naveen, do you mind if I get the middle seat? Okay. Aw, oh, thanks. I just have this thing about sitting on the aisle. Hey, hey Chloe. What, Sophie? Can we switch places, please? No, now turn around and watch the movie. Aww. <laughs> Space. The final shopping spree. These are the voyages of the starship Shopville, whose continuing mission is to find new sails. Ah! Attention shoppies, there is a new model on Alpha Prime. Well, in that case, set a course, and we will boldly go where no shoppie has gone before. I hope this isn't too scary. Ugh. Sophie, wake up. Oh. We have to head over to the theater. Today is the first day of drama camp. I just had the worst dream. My diary got published, 
Then we went to the movies to see Shoppies, Intergalactic Shoppers, and Anna was there. That wasn't a dream. That was yesterday. Now get dressed, we're gonna be late. Aww. I wonder what the play will be this summer. Why, are you looking for something with rainbows, sunshine, and unicorns? Actually, I've always wanted to play Jafar or Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Do you think they could add a bunny to my costume? Jade, sometimes I just don't understand you. All right, attention everyone. This summer, the play is going to be Beauty and the Beast. Yay! Wait, who's the villain in Beauty and the Beast? Gaston. Oh yeah, right. I am directing this production, so just let me know a role you would like to play. I will play the Beast, since I am the only real prince in the room. And yes, of course, I will play Belle. My shining personality can only be center stage. Aw, isn't this adorable? It's nice to see this town is getting a little culture. In Paris, I starred in all of our community theater productions. And I will be more than happy to share my expertise with all of you. This is going to be fun. I would like to play the role of Belle. Say what? Well, I guess this means we're gonna have to have auditions for Belle. Sophie versus Anna. Up for a little friendly competition, cuz? Absolutely. By the way, I've read your book. I wonder if Naveen's read it. Let the games begin! Uh-oh. We want to give the shout-out to Silly Sophia 2010. What is up? Finally, I get to watch the zombie pizza. Doctor. What is it? The cheese. It's alive! What's up? And we can be so much more than who we are. So much more than who we are. We can, we can. And knee deep in while the world just falls apart. At the rise of our feet, oh, we can. a joke, right? I mean, you're not honestly going to make me audition, are you? Sophie, I'm the director. I can't play favorites. <laughs> Sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry. Chloe, we were talking about me. You have to audition, Sophie, just like everyone else. Aww. <laughs> All right, everyone. Can I have your attention, please? Wait, who is that on my stage? Excuse me, but I'm the director for this production. Who are you? His name is Cam. I'm Cam. Okay, Cam, what are you doing on my stage? He is going to film the whole play. I'm the cameraman, and it didn't look like there was anybody in charge, so I took charge. <laughs> well, thank you, but I'm here now, so you can go down there. Thank you everyone for coming out to audition for a role for Beauty and the Beast. Let's start with the role for Mrs. Potts. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. Next! Sorry Jade, you know I love you. That's okay, I'm gonna try out for one of the grumpy village people. Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Next! True as it could be, both a little scared, neither one prepared, beauty and the beast. You know this isn't a musical, right? But you got the part. Oh, why well, thank you. Wait, are you sure you want to go with her? I like the Little Mermaid better. Um, she was singing from The Little Mermaid. Yeah? So what's wrong with that? It's the wrong production. 
Wow, I've never seen anybody challenge Chloe like that before. I know. And yet, I find it oddly amusing. <laughs> What's so funny, you two? Let me guess. You honestly think you have a chance of winning the part of Belle. You're right, that is laughable. <laughs> Anna, my sister is the director. Auditions are just a formality. Oh, Sophie, when she sees my talent, she will make the smart choice. Oh yeah? Yeah. Come on, Naveen, let's rehearse. Wait, where did it go? Sophie? Look, Cam, I'm the director. So I decide who gets the part. And I said it's Carmen. But, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. director, remember? Now kindly walk off the stage. Carmen, you got the part. Next. I am Naveen, and I shall play the beast. There's no one else auditioning, so yeah, you got it. Yes, I knew I could do it, because I am the best. No. Next. Oh look, there is a beast. Next. <laughs> this is not a musical. No one fights like Gaston. Jade. Fine. You got it. Okay. Who's next? It is I. Cam. What are you doing? Uh, I'm auditioning for Gaston. You're the cameraman! You've already got a job! That's it. Take five, everybody. I need a break. We'll do auditions for Belle when I get back. I'm just gonna chill backstage for a minute. Hey, sister. You're looking a little stressed. You know I'm always here for you, right? There's nothing more important than family. Sophie, you still have to audition. Oh, come on! Don't get upset, Sophie. Some of us are trying to rehearse back here. Besides, we all know that Chloe understands the value of true talent. Everyone just settle down. I will pick the person who is best for the part. I think it is important for you to know that I have never lost a role. Until now. I wouldn't be so sure about that. <gasps> My diary! It would be a shame if this fell into the wrong hands. Like Naveen's. <laughs> All right, everyone. All right, everyone. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. Cam, I got this. Up next, auditioning for Belle is Sophie Darby. Sophie? Has anyone seen Sophie? She is not backstage. I cannot find her anywhere. Oh no! Sophie is missing! Since Sophie decided not to show up, I guess that means that I get to do the shout out. We want to give a shout out to So What I Collect. What's up? Wow, I am like really good at this. Cause I can see the way you look And how you try to get my attention Don't you know I'm on you I'm on you I'm on you Not my Romeo Anna! Come back here with that book. Sorry, Sophie. You're just going to have to come and get it. <laughs> Great. She went into the dressing room. There's only one way in and one way out. Anna, where are you? Oh, look, the book. Now that I have it, there is no way she can show it to anybody else. <gasps> look at that shirt. Oh, yeah. I have got to try this on. <laughs> All according to plan. Oh yeah, 
This shirt looks fabulous on me. <laughs> but then again, so does everything. What's my name? Sophie. What was that? That's right, Sophie. That shirt does look great on you. Locked on the inside of the dressing room. <laughs> Hope you don't miss your audition. <laughs> Aw, man. She set me up. But she is right. This shirt does look good on me. Now, how to escape. Sophie, where's Sophie? I can't find her anywhere. It is not like Sophie to miss a chance for attention, no? Tell me about it. Something must be wrong. Oh no, did I just hear that Sophie is going to miss her audition? I guess that means I automatically get the part by default. Um, no. Everyone still has to audition. But if you called her name and she's a no-show, doesn't that mean she missed her opportunity? I say whoever wants to audition today has until the theater closes. Which is at five. Thanks, Cam. And it's four. Right now. Thanks, Cam. So she has an hour. Thanks, Cam. Just trying to help. If you want to help, you can go find Sophie. Eh, not my job. So, I guess that means that in one hour, the part will be mine? If Sophie doesn't show up, then yes. I better go and find Sophie. I do not want her to miss her audition. Um, wait, Naveen. I mean, Prince Naveen. Your Highness. Uh, nobody really calls me that around here. We're all kind of casual, no? Oh, I know how to act around royalty. Unlike some of the other people around here, Queen Elsa and I are like total besties. Oh, give it a rest. Just gotta get this window open. I should really work out more. Ugh. Now all I have to do is climb out this window to freedom. Oops, dropped the book. Whoa, this is a little higher up than I thought. Ah! Great, now I just have to run around the building and make it to my audition. But as long as this book is still out there, then there is a chance Naveen might find out what I wrote. I have to go buy every copy left on the shelf. I have been all over this bookstore and I can't seem to find the book. Maybe it was so horrible that they got rid of all of them for me. Goodbye, diary. Sophie. Oh, hey, Skye. Are you talking about, yeah, so this is my diary? Yeah, I'm so glad to see that that book is gone. That book is like one of our best sellers. Your cousin came in here and bought like six copies. Say what? 15 more minutes. Cam, first of all, personal space. And second of all, I don't need your countdown. I know how much time she has. You know, you could just leave me in charge and go look for your sister. That's been your plan all along, hasn't it? Well, you know, I'm pretty sure I could do a better job. Well, I guess we'll never know, seeing how I'm the boss. Hey, Cam, you want fries with that? Because you got served. What? You need some sunblock? Cause you got burned. Ugh. Hey, come back. I got a whole bunch more. Anna, you're up. Is it my turn already? Okay, Naveen, wish me luck. It is dark and cold. I have wandered into a palace, into the forest, into the night, in search of my father. Father! Can you hear me? It is I, Belle, your beautiful daughter, for beauty is my name. Okay? Wait, there's more. Even though I am the most beautiful girl in town, I am modest and really super smart. I read books and stuff. And I, and I alone, will break the curse and set the castle free. Uh, 
Are you done now? Yes. You may applaud. Next. So, Naveen, what do you think? Your royal opinion matters. It was, um, uh, let me think, uh, how do you say that, uh, the word, um, it was unexpected, yes? If that's royal for fabulous, I'll take it. Well, it really has been interesting talking to you. I agree, your majesty. Okay, I really must go and find Sophie. She is my best friend, and I do not want her to miss her audition. I know how important it is to her. You know, Naveen, she really isn't that great of a friend. Anna, what do you mean? Oh no, I gotta get to that theater. I gotta stop Anna. But seriously, I need to work out more. Naveen, he can't find out like this. <laughs> Five minutes. She'll be here. Naveen, there you are. I'm so happy I found you. Sophie, what is this? <gasps> oh, this is gonna be good. I need some popcorn. We want to give a shout out to The Random Life. What's up? Hey, Cam, I've got another one. What? How you like them potatoes? Cause you got roasted. Uh. Oh, come on! That one was good! Anna, she said this was a book that you published. You're welcome. <laughs> Anna. I can't believe she gave that to you when I've been running all over town trying to keep it from you. Why would you keep this from me? Why don't you just tell the truth? Why write a book like this? Naveen, it was my diary. It was never meant to be published. Wait a minute. So this is your real diary? You meant everything you wrote? Well, that would depend on how much you read. I read it all. Then I didn't mean any of it. Bye now. Sophie? Fine. All right, I'm gonna call it. Time's pretty much up, Chloe. I said five o'clock, so we're waiting until five o'clock. She still has two minutes. Well, Chloe really wants Sophie to audition. Well then, an audition she will get. <laughs> Naveen, you want the truth. I can do that. I remember the truth, but I can't see it when you're standing there. I need some space. I can't believe I am about to say this. This couldn't be any more perfect. She is on stage. Now if I could just find the right rope, Sophie's audition will begin. Chloe. Cam, she'll be here. Where is Sophie? This is so exciting. It's better than watching soap operas with my dog named Cat. Naveen, I never told you any of that stuff because I didn't want our friendship to change. We've been friends for as long as I can remember. And the last thing I've ever wanted to do was hurt you. You see, the truth is, I, this is going to be so embarrassing. I, you got the part. Oh, come on. You couldn't have waited five minutes to say that. I wasted $10 of popcorn on this. Sophie, you had so much emotion. I never knew you could act like that. Yeah, cause I was acting. What? She got the part? That's not fair. She wasn't even acting. Well, I am on stage during auditions. And thanks to your help, I was able to make it on time. 
allowing me to get the part of Belle. So thank you, Cousin Anna, for helping me with my audition. Without you, none of this would have been possible. Aww. That is a little something I like to call karma. Looks like your sister was the best one for the part. I'm not the kind of girl to say, I told you so, but I told you so. Don't worry, Anna. I'm sure we can find you another part in the play. I think you would make a great guest on. Sophie, look out! Ah! I'm okay. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. Whoa. That was totally worth the $10 popcorn. It's opening night, everyone. Just five minutes until the show starts. All right. So you're supposed to be my sidekick, remember? Yes, Gaston! Make sure you do not stand between me and the camera. Yes, Gaston! You know I'm not really Gaston in real life, right? Yes, Gaston! Ugh, come on. Aye, aye, Captain! To Neverland we go! Shade, wrong play. Does this look okay? Carmen, you make a great to Mrs. Potts. Naveen, where's your head? I'll get it. Has anyone seen our bell? Right here. Don't I look fabulous? Now where's my prince? He went to find his head. Don't worry, he'll be back in a minute. Everyone needs to be ready. It's almost time. Naveen, there you are. Don't we just look Perfect. Uh. You're a prince, and I'm practically a princess. You know that it's uh, just a play, right? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Silly. It's just a shame that Sophie sprained her ankle falling off the stage and had to forfeit the part. I can just imagine her sitting at home all alone. <laughs> oh, well. The show must go on! Wait, Naveen? Naveen? Where's Naveen? I don't know. We were talking and he just left. Hey, Chloe. All the cameras are set up and I just found this by the back door. Oh no! We can't have a Beauty and the Beast play without the Beast! What are we gonna do? My play is ruined! I don't know anybody else who can fit the costume! And the play starts now! Uh, I guess I could do it. Really? Yeah, all the cameras are set up. All I gotta do is press one button. My genius idea. And the jacket fits. Wow, Cam, that's really nice. So what you're saying is I saved the play and you owe me? Ugh. And for a brief moment there, I thought you were mildly decent. <laughs> I love this show! Sophie, you have a visitor. Oh, hey! I thought you could use some company. And a unicorn frappuccino? How did you know I like unicorn frappuccinos? Wild guess. Naveen, you really are a great friend. Which is why we should talk about the diary. Okay. I never told you how I felt because I knew it would change things. And I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Why didn't you just tell me? You didn't even give me a chance. I could... I could do better. No. I'm sorry, but I don't think you could. How could you say that? After all this time, all these years. Sorry, Naveen. But, I just gotta say it, your jokes just aren't funny! What? That was it? But you always laughed! I was being nice, but seriously, they're quite awful. Okay, how about this one? Why did the pony go to the doctor? Aw, oh, Naveen, this is just sad. Because he was a little horse! You get it? Just stop. Man, I'm going back to the play. But I should have just told you the truth. If I had, then Anna wouldn't have been able to use it against me. For now on, 
I hope you always tell me the truth. Absolutely, because we are really good friends, and I hope we always will be. Yeah, friends. To give the shout out to who's your fatty? What is up? Zombie Pizza. I love this movie. Finally, somebody who can appreciate the arts. Zombie Pizza. There's only one way to get rid of a zombie pizza. Quick, hand me a fork. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for this My Froggy Stuff mashup. Let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below. This was seriously one of my favorite mashups. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff and The Frog Vlog, and we will see you next time. Bye!